a lot of it might be nostalgia for a, a, an older way of living without the hustle and bustle of the modern world. I think it's just something that I long for and I think maybe a lot of other people long for. My name is Adam Lynn. I grew up in New York State, upstate New York. My wife grew up just down the road here. After kind of roaming around a little bit, we decided to come back and plant some roots. We bought this piece of land, which is uh, about two acres and have since just started making it our own with um, a pretty big garden, a bunch of chickens and some rabbits and bees. Bees have always been something that's kind of intrigued me. I had the opportunity to watch somebody catch a swarm and I was just totally fascinated by it. I think you just kind of have to read the bees and what they're doing, understand their relationship to the weather and know when is a good time to get in there and when is not a good time to get in there. When we think queen, we kind of think like royalty, like the boss, but she's really not. She's really just the mother. She's the mother of the entire hive. Without her, there can be no, no colony. Everybody else in the hive decides what else happens. They decide which size comb to build, uh, whether, you know, whether to build comb that will hold the drones or the workers. They're the ones who take care of the, uh, the bees that hatch. They're the ones who go out and get the nectar and pollen and water. There's a lot of different reasons why the bees uh, are kind of are struggling. Really, I, th I think the best thing you could probably do is just find a good source of native, just native flowering plants. Um, it, the internet is a bountiful source of information as to which plants are bee friendly and even um, if you go into any store and buy a, a plant, a seedling or even an established plant, so many companies nowadays are gonna put that little bee friendly logo on it because they know it's, it's something that people care about. So I think it's pretty easy to figure out uh, what the bees are gonna like. I really, really like the quote, I'm gonna butcher the quote, from uh, Carlos Castaneda in The Teachings of Don Juan where Don Juan says, you always have to ask yourself, does this path have a heart? And if it does, then that's, that's the right path for you. That's where you should be. If not, it's of no use to you and you'll know it. And this for me has a heart. Uh, it's kind of a heart that I've always been looking for.